Welcome back friends and today I'd like to go over a mantis technique where someone should grab your wrist how to get out of it and repay the favor of them grabbing your wrist so I'll just do it if someone should grab you're just rolling back and then punching so with this view just roll back and punch. So we have a very talented, very talented individual. His name is Brandon and he's going to be helping out with this episode. He's going to be the attacker and if he wants to grab, most people are, they're going to grab with their, uh, their strong hand. So and, and most people, statistically, they're right-handed, so they're going to grab with their right hand. So if he grabs, you immediately trap their hand so, so they can't let go. And you're bringing them in and then expanding out. And you can see the, my footwork, how it transitioned. From, from the heel and then forward into a, a forward stance or an arrow stance they call it. So again, circle and strike and you want to you want to make sure that you're, you're pulling hard enough because you want to throw their balance off, their, their equilibrium. You want to throw Make sure that their head moves, because if you can't, if you're unable to move their head, then that means they're solid, and they can they can counter quickly compared to if they're off balance, like this, side to side or front and back leaning. You want to be sure to throw their balance, their their center line off. Because it will make this technique a lot more effective. So he will be facing here. And this can happen so quickly. You don't, they don't even say anything. They just, they want to grab your arm and they want to take you somewhere. And this is where immediately you have to do something. And if they're a lot bigger, do not try to, if they're a lot bigger, and, and physically stronger, do not try to stand there and, and battle it out. If you can, immediately after applying this technique, turn around and run and scream as loud as you can. Make as much noise because you want to draw as, as much attention to you as possible from other people because maybe they can come to your help or if they, can't, if, or if they don't even come to your help, at least maybe they will at least uh, yell out, "Hey, what are you doing?" And that that right there could be enough for the attacker to be intimidated from uh, having witnesses see around, and that might be enough for them to stop what they're doing and go about their own business. So if they're grabbing you, trap immediately. And pull and strike. Again, you can see the footwork. Heel. And then you can see their 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 head is off because you're you're jerking them forward. I'm you're they're they're forward and then you wanna go into a, a forward stance and strike. So very quickly, bang! And that's how that's how it should be, like the the speed of the mantis. Very quick and efficient. And your strike should be precision. Try not to the face. There's a lot of bone. It's very hard. So you could strike the neck area or the jawline area here. 
that's where they the hence the term the glass jaw because people can take direct shots to the jaw but if you can attack the side of the jaw is a lot weaker so again if they attack grab and strike so there you have it friends the technique from praying mantis and until next time have a great day friends